Hey Maker, that mom with a laser here, and today we're going to be switching things up with a 4-inch lens. You see, many lasers come with a 2-inch lens with a shorter nozzle like this one because it's a really good all-purpose kind of lens to work with. But today, I want to engrave this really beautiful charcuterie board that I found at Home Goods. However, my 2-inch lens isn't going to cut it, and here's why. Now this tray has an edge that's about two inches tall, which means if I try to engrave it, the top of this edge is gonna collide with my gantry, which we don't want to happen. So I am going to very carefully show you what I mean. As I raise the laser bed, you're gonna see how the top of this edge is going to collide with my equipment. If that happens, it's gonna be a disaster and I'm gonna be set back hours. So obviously I can't do this. So because I have a tall edge, I can't get my nozzle close enough to the bottom to get into focus so that I get a nice clean engrave. To engrave this board, I need to be about 8.5 millimeters from the bottom of the tray, which clearly isn't going to happen. However, with a 4 inch lens, I have more room to play with. So as you can see, the top of my edge is not going to collide with my gantry, which is perfect. And I can get the nozzle close enough to the bottom of the tray to get it into focus. As you see here, I'm gonna go with a 10.5 millimeter focus because I like to defocus when I'm engraving because it'll give me a smoother engrave. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure to watch this video here. So today we're gonna work on creating a gorgeous finished product just like this one. And we're gonna learn a little bit about working with a four inch lens. You ready? Let's go. Okay guys, so I need to go ahead and swap everything out. So. This uh, needs to go obviously under here, but it's not gonna fit. So I'm gonna lower my laser bed and I'm gonna reposition everything so it's easier to work with. Okay, so I have repositioned everything. It's easier to work with, I have plenty of room. And I'm gonna leave this little uh, paper towel down here because I'm gonna have these screws and I don't want stuff falling through my honeycomb tray. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Allen wrenches. This comes with your Eon kit. And I'm going to get out the 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench right here. And I'm gonna use this to unscrew right here. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pull out the existing lens, see how the lens is facing upward. That's what we wanna do. Um, oh, it's kinda of dirty. I don't know if you guys can tell there, but this lens needs a good cleaning. Good thing I did that. So actually, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and then we'll put in the new lens. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this here. I'll give it a good cleaning and then I'll swap out the new lens. Okay, so now we have um, our new nozzle, and as you see here, it says do not autofocus. So if you use your autofocus uh, feature, you're not going to be able to use it with this, um, with this piece here. So I'm just going to go ahead and screw it in, just like that. Now that it's nice and secure, I can go ahead and take my 4-inch lens right here. It'll say it on the side there. And remember, we want to have it facing upward. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back in here, bring this back over, and screw everything back together. And that's it. Okay, so now we're all connected and I can finally engrave things that are lower um, and have an edge like this one. So what I did with this particular tray, it had handles on it that I removed, these right here, and it's a Tommy Bahama one that I got at Home Goods. I don't even know what kind of wood it is. So because I've never worked with this before, I want to go ahead and <laughs> practice on the back so that I don't damage the top part. So I'm going to flip it over. just like this. And I'm probably gonna test, you know, the center here with my logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and power on the machine and get everything into focus. Wow. 
well guys look at that that turned out pretty good so these are actually the same settings that i have used in the past um, on my 60 watt that was 50 power at 225 speed so i'm going to flip this over and i'm going to show you a trick that's very helpful when you're working with round things okay so i've turned it around and to get the precise center here I am going to use a jig and this is just a cardboard that I cut out on the laser to 15 inches so I can easily put this in here and quickly find my center and I can mark it with my pencil whatever but now I don't have to bother with rulers trying to get it perfect I always have it ready so if you work with circles a lot you might want to consider cutting out a 12 inch round uh, 18 inch whatever it is that you're working with frequently but this is super helpful so now I'm going to go ahead and line everything up. I'm going to refocus again because now I flipped it over and get ready to burn. Also, since I'm working with a round tray, I'm going to go ahead and use the circle frame function, which you can find in your laser window right here. with just some soap and water so we'll see how this goes I don't know how uh, much residue or whatever is gonna be on here so I'm just gonna wipe this off oh that's nice and easy there might have might have too much water here all right looks pretty good Okay, that is really nice. <laughs> the burn is nice and dark, which is another benefit of using the four inch lens. That's actually really beautiful. Yay. Oh. Okay. All right, so you can see the only bad thing is like, look at this, there's like, I think that's like a, huh, I actually think that that's a, uh, some piece of metal or something in the board. Yeah, that's odd. And then these are the glue lines from these little panels here. But for a test piece, I think it's pretty nice. Can't complain there. My friend's four inch lens for the win. Well, maker, we did it. Let's go ahead and recap. Working with a four inch lens will allow you to engrave items that have a tall edge, such as a bowl or something like the charcuterie board we just did together. It will also allow you to cut thicker material, but I've yet to experiment with that. So be sure you subscribe and follow because you know when I do, I'll be sharing it with you right here on That Mom.